Hey, Dr. Meters here. I want to talk about loops for a minute. There are several different types of loops. A loop is a structure we use in programming to repeat a set of steps over and over again until some condition occurs. All right. And so the loop, loops, looping structures that we have in JavaScript are the for loop, the while loop, and the do and do while loop. All right. We'll talk about the for loop in this one. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the for loop uh, has a initial starting point value called an initialization section. That's that right there. And then it has a conditional test and then it has something you're going to do like increment. Now this is the short, this is actually the short version of saying i equals i plus one. So here's what we're doing. We're defining a variable called i and then in our loop we're saying okay we're initializing it to one and then we're going to do uh, document write Actually, we're going to say initialize it to one while it's less than five, and it is. We're going to we're going to write it out. All right. Then we're going to increment it. Okay. We're going to do this five times, and we're going to be done. When because I is going to go from one, two, three, four. It's going to print one, two, three, four. That's the I part right there, displaying that variable. When it gets to five, all right. So it says five is. And it says is five less than or equal to five. That's true. It'll print it or document dot write it, which is display it. Then it'll increment it by one. This is another way to say this is i equals i plus one. So i plus plus is equal to i equals i plus one, which is saying the old value of i is going to be added to one's going to be added to it to get the new value. So it's that's called a, a counter. It's going to continually go through there for a certain certain number of times. And then with a for loop, we control the number of times we go through it. This is, the, this is the set of steps. The curly braces, the left and right, tell you what it's going to do. I mean, they begin and end. I should say begin and end. The code is going to work, that's operate inside of it. Once the loop passes, or once the loop expires, so to speak, or is met, the condition is met where i is less than or equal to 5, or i is greater than 5, what it's going to do is pop out of this, not do this anymore. It's going to do this five times, not do this anymore, and say the end. Once i gets to five, like I said, all right, it's going to display it, do a page break, and it's going to make it six. Well, it's greater than six. Six is greater than or equal to five, so it's going to hop out and go over here to the toward the end. Now let's go run it. Double click it. I'm going to go run it by clicking the allow block content. Boom, the end. There you go. Copyright Dr. Matters, 2014. Have a great day.